Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we have from Katie Pruitt, Mantras. There were a lot of pleasant surprises in country music for me in 2020, but one of the best was Katie Pruitt's debut album, Expectations, which took spacious, elegantly arranged pop country into a distinctly queer and yearning set of love stories. It was a great album, one of the best of that year. It also meant that their sophomore follow-up was high on my list to check out in 2024. I wasn't about to be late this time, especially with the news that Katie Pruitt was working predominantly with producers Colin Pastor and Jake Finch, who you might recognize from behind the boards with Boy Genius, both as a group and for their solo work. And that translates to this album very fast. Within the first couple songs, the vocal pickups, they aren't quite as pillowy or lush. The guitars have much more smoky muscle. There's more tangible low-end groove and tempo. When the arranged strings slip in, they tend to be a little bit more restrained. Hell, it's damn near indie rock in moments. It's targeted for an audience that wants to hear country acts that might even be similar to Boy Genius. And that feels like a bit of a mixed blessing. I certainly appreciate more tempo and firepower. The album starts off incredibly strong, and now there's better support for Pruitt's belting. But there are more than a few guitar tones that strike a little bit of an odd timbre for me, like that goopy lead on Worst Case Scenario, or the faint attempts at psychedelia on Faces of the Moon. The slightly quaking tone on Self Sabotage, I mean, it makes a little bit more sense. I think it works better. And also, some of the drum mixes can feel a little rough, like on Naive Again. And I think Pruitt's sweeter delivery might be better flattered with some softer pickups. Hell, more than once, I just wondered if the producers were trying to push Katie Pruitt into the boy genius machine, whether it works for them or not, and thankfully the lyrics prove that mostly incorrect. As this thematic arc feels very much in Pruitt's wheelhouse, albeit with an expanded focus. Now, similar to expectations, there is a critical examination of faith and religion. All My Friends, the opener, it highlights those who leave the church only then find new superstitions, where so much of it is just about trying to find something to believe in. And then the tangible anger on those who condescend behind the mask of religion for bullshit reasons. It's got some punch on white lies, white Jesus, and you. But as the album continues, Pruitt is also self-aware enough to recognize how much they themselves are still searching and battling their own internal demons. Some of which come with breaking or broken relationships that they're struggling to process, like on Leading Actress, and especially The Waitress, one of the best ballads here. And while well, Jealous of the Boys actually has some intriguing trans subtext in the larger yearning context of lesbian longing, by the album's conclusion, you can tell that the mantras, they were most built for Katie Pruitt themselves to try to find ways to process the larger world that keeps on moving in its cycles. It's a more open-ended conclusion where the momentum is really petered out, at least compared to expectations, but I do get the pathos. Overall, Let's make this clear. I don't think there's a bad song on this album. It starts off incredibly strong. It does feel like the natural follow through from expectations, but it's also a little front loaded. It doesn't quite feel quite as intimate. And I can't shake the feeling that her sound had been compromised a bit in the production for broader mainstream attention. Now, part of this does come with the expectations created by well, expectations, and it's not exactly fair to expect the same feelings of pleasant surprise that I got back in 2020. I imagine a slow burn like this will only grow in me further, and you know what, considering the best songs are so strong here, I'd say this nudges into greatness. Incredibly pleasant, very likable album, Katie Pruitt dodged the sophomore slump, and I think this is a mantra worth hearing. Check it out. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more, please be sure to like, share, drop some comments, and subscribe. I'll admit this was a bit of a tricky one to talk about. I've given this a lot of listens, and while I'm not sure it's quite on the same tier as expectations, I also think that with this sort of album, I need to let it sit a little bit more with me. This may probably wind up on my list at a decent height sometime later in the year. We will have to see. Beyond that, though, anything else I might be able to do to improve my presentation, I'm all ears. And if you all want to get involved in helping my schedule, arguing with me on my Discord, or hell, just supporting the channel beyond my merch, link to my Patreon is right over there. Don't feel obligated. Tough times. I understand. The option's available. Till then, I'm Mark. You're watching Spectrum Pulse. And I'll see you next time.